My number one tip when it comes to showering with piercings is actually in today's video we're going to be going over showering with your new piercings. Showering with your piercings is a topic that tends to get skipped over when it comes to aftercare instructions so that's why we're going to be going over it in today's video. Plus I see you guys in the comments. I'll be sharing what to do during the healing period, after the healing period, and also I'm going to be sharing with you guys my number one tip when it comes to showering with piercings. If you guys are new, welcome to the piercing outlet. My name is Christina. I used to pierce ears for five years before creating this channel. If you guys have a new piercing give this video a thumbs up and two comment below how old your new piercing is so now let's get right into the video so during the initial healing period that is when you first get pierced you want to keep your earrings in do not take them out I get questions about this if you should take them out when you are taking a shower but you have to keep them in continuously during the healing period so that includes even when you take a shower. So after your shower, you want to clean your piercings. This is the perfect time to clean your piercings. And the reason why you wanna do it after is just so that way you can get rid of any soap, shampoo, conditioner that may be left behind. The best thing to clean your ears with is gonna be sterile saline wound wash. You can get this at any drugstore or H2Ocean which is my personal favorite. This is what I use for my nose piercing. And both of these are great because they have a spray. You don't have to touch your piercings or anything because that's something that you want to avoid. You just spray this on your piercings after your shower and then either use gauze or a paper towel to soak up any excess liquid that may be left behind. And this is because you don't want to leave any moisture. Also showers over baths, and this is just because baths tend to harbor a lot of bacteria. So after the healing period, this is totally up to you. Either you can keep your earrings in the shower, honestly, the less you touch them, the better, or you can take them out. Depending on maybe the earring that you choose, like if you choose an earring with like a regular backing, for example, like what I have in, if I were to shower with something like this, then I lose the backings. In fact, I did, the last time I wore these, I took a shower with them and I lost the backing. So I just steal backings from another pair of earrings. So now to my number one tip when it comes to showering with piercings. This kind of goes into like my last video that I did was sleeping with piercings. But my number one tip when it comes to showering with piercings is actually do not sleep with wet hair dry your hair on a cool setting after your shower. And the reason for this is because you don't wanna sleep with wet hair. Think about it. Here's your ear, your hair, you're sleeping on your pillow, and it's just wet back here. You're creating a moist environment, and bacteria loves moist environments. So that's why you don't wanna sleep with uh, wet hair. I have seen like people's ears getting raw and also um, blister like bumps on the back of people's ears. Now I'm no doctor so if you have something like this see a dermatologist or your doctor. That is why you want to avoid sleeping with wet hair. I'm going to leave a link right here to the video about funky ear smells and I'm also going to leave my last video that I did was sleeping with piercings, tips on sleeping with piercings right here. I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe right here so that way you never miss a video I upload every Wednesday. So I will see you guys then.